Okay, here we again are at Black Grove. Uh, on walking out from the the gap that we just talked about, we've encountered a American chestnut that we planted ten years ago, I believe. It was 2013 when we first acquired this property. It had been harvested somewhat by the prior owner. We of course reharvested it, and there were some small gaps. Brian Roth. Who was around? It was on the faculty then at UMaine. Uh, had grown a bunch of uh, these are just wild, I think, uh, unresistant, not genetically improved chestnuts that were collected from seed from wild trees around the Orono area. Um, and the thing has thrived. Actually, we planted about five trees out here. This is this is definitely the one that's done the best. The others are alive. They've just were in, they've suffered more competition. So. I think we estimate this tree is like 30 feet tall in 10 years and growing rapidly. Okay, moving in here, zooming in a bit, we can see what we did to control the, first the deer. We didn't have any tree tubes then, so I fashioned, uh, what are those, three foot tall wire fence rings, which are very effective actually for hardwoods. If you make them big enough, you have to make sure the stem doesn't grow outside through the fence, grows out the top. And you can also see the, the four foot brush blankets that we've deployed for lots of reasons, that's still in place and still, you know, eliminating competition around this tree. So this one got the Cadillac treatment and it definitely shows. You can see the DBH here is probably four inches. So a smashing success and there's probably no native chestnut within, you know, 40 miles of here, if, if that. So this one may actually have a chance as an escape, we'll see.